Hi, I just wanted to share this quick update with you while I have the chance. Um, I may not get a chance to make another video for um, a week, hopefully before then, but um, we'll see. I have a two year old <laughs> who kind of dictates my world and, um, and that's probably the reason I may look very tired in a lot of these videos, but anyway. Um, so on Monday, which was the 28th year in Sydney, I had the same vision that I've had before that I shared um, previously. And this time though, it was the same vision, but it was different in the sense that I was focusing more on what I was feeling, not what I was seeing. And I feel that this was to give me a taste of what uh, the actual wave of energy that comes in is going to be like. Um, at first, I could just uh, feel, it, it almost felt like I could feel every individual cell in my body vibrating differently. Um, I, my whole body was feeling it, but at the same time, the only way I can describe it was, was being aware of it at an individual level as well as the whole level. Um, it was really strange. And I was observing that and then all of a sudden I felt uh, this literally a wave of energy wash over me and I just started tingling and spontaneously burst into tears in a good way. <laughs> For me, these kind of reactions um, uh, throughout my whole life, I will have very intense reactions, which I'm sure you can relate to, where my whole body uh, just gets tingles. And some people refer to it as the chills, but it, it's not because it's not an eerie feeling. It's just like everything comes alive within you and you're aware of it all of a sudden. Um, but also often along this journey, uh, I've been told something I've, uh, th through another person or through um, my own inner being telling me something or my guides, um, different things, information I've come across that provokes those reactions or invokes those reactions, but also the spontaneous crying. Um, for me, that's soul truth. It's a, rec a deep recognition of, of truth, um, even if you don't understand it. Um, so the only way that I can describe the wave of energy that I felt um, was if you imagine, uh, for, this might be hard for those that didn't have a good relationship with their parents, but imagine the ultimate parent or parents um, you know those moments where you feel afraid, insecure, uh, shame, you know, all of those different emotions and this loving parent just comes and scoops you into their arms and holds you and comforts you and looks you in the eye and you know that they see all of you. They see that you could do things better. They see where you've made mistakes, uh, not mistakes. I don't believe anything's a mistake. I, th I think it's a learning opportunity or perhaps a deviation from the original path, but there is no wrong turns. There just isn't. If everything is about experience, then how can any experience be wrong? Um, again, digressing, sorry. But this, this energy, it's like, um, so it's like someone seeing you, all of you, and and saying, it's okay. There's nothing wrong with you. You are perfect. It, you know, um, it's just the only way I can describe it is like I did in that first video I put up, which was in January, and it was a forecast for what I thought was January's energy. But then what I was shown a little later was basically a forecast for just what is to come primarily in the beginning of this year. Beyond that, I'm not too sure yet. But um, in January, I said, if I had the courage to back myself, I would say this is the event wave coming because like in January or thereabouts, because I was just shown uh, what I can only describe as 
uh, the true God force, love energy, cosmic love, um, whatever you want to define it as. So I knew that was coming um, and it was almost like I got to experience just a little bit of it to know that when it comes, there will be absolutely no mistaking it's come for those that are anticipating it. Those that aren't, I don't know. <laughs> I think there'll be some that don't really know what happens, but expanding on the video I did about how this affects us and what comes next, the best analogy that I've got is if this touches everyone in the way that I believe it's going to in varying degrees of strength, it's like, you know when you fall in love or your heart is just so full in those moments i swear it is literally impossible to be an asshole or a bitch or you know whatever name you want to give it to, to not be nice to the world because when you're in those states someone can cut you off in traffic someone can say something to you all those things that would normally trigger you and and ah oh, provoke some kind of reaction you just kind of go yeah you know it's just like you feel so good that uh, you extend that, that feeling that you have in your heart to others simply by the way you interact with them. Um, you smile at people when you maybe wouldn't have. You um, pay for someone's coffee because you're just feeling so good. I don't know. You know what? I'm sure you know what I'm trying to get at. It is just this beautiful energy. And if I talk too much about it, now I'm going to cry again, so we don't want that. Um, but all I'm saying is if, if I'm right on this, then maybe this is how the world starts to come together. If we're all touched by love, that just um, for those whose hearts are closed, perhaps it opens them just a little bit so they can start to perhaps love themselves a little bit and then extend that love to others. For those that have already got the open hearts, they will be so full. <laughs> I, I honestly feel we'll just want to give to everyone what's in our hearts. Um, so, yeah, I think that's a beautiful thing. And um, I really do feel that I'm in the ballpark with this. I, I don't believe anyone's got it 100% right because we're all limited by... The distortions that we have in place and 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 that's not not a bad thing i'm just saying that um any information i receive is still has to go through the filters of my own uh, levels of perception and and awareness and understanding so i'm sure they're distorted in some way not intentionally but just in the process so that's why i say only what takes the tape what feels right to you um so yeah before i start rambling <laughs> more um, I just wanted to share that experience because I believe that's the feeling and the energy that's coming in uh, straight from the source, uh, filtered to a level that we can withstand it because honestly, to experience that much pure love, uh, most people couldn't. Um, and I feel that where people will struggle is a, a feeling of unworthiness of that love. Um, because when you don't feel worthy, you reject it in all forms, really. So I'm hoping that the people out there that don't feel worthy get receive enough of it to know that they are. And with that knowledge, then they will treat themselves differently. They will treat others differently. The world starts to look different. And yeah, it's not going to be overnight, but it will happen. There's enough of us holding that energy already in our hearts, ready to, to em embrace more of it. And I know that we're struggling physically with it. Um, I was shown the term energy runners, those that consciously run energy through their energy fields, their body, the earth. Um, and because of that conscious intention and practice of, of running these energies through our body, um, we can experience the physical symptoms that come with that. It's like, um, you know, all, all the, suddenly all this electricity is running through and, and overwhelming the circuits a bit and, and creating this. I was talking to people this morning about it. 
it almost feels that feeling when just as you know when you think oh I'm gonna start to get sick but you never get sick it's it's I can feel it almost <laughs> as this electrical current running through my whole body my veins everything it's it's um, I don't know if I'm describing that very well, but it's a, a strange feeling. Um, I often feel like I'm coming down with the flu or something and then never get sick. It's just, a, and I believe it's because our cells are spinning faster to, to adjust to these higher frequencies coming in. Uh, there's a lot happening within the body. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, I hope that helps. And... I believe it's coming soon. <laughs> I don't know when. I, I can't explain it. I just sense it on some level. Maybe it's something else. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just saying I, I feel something and I feel like that sense of anticipation that a little child gets, um, you know, at Christmas time when you still believe in all of that. It's, yeah, I don't know a bubbling sense that something magical is going to happen soon and yeah anyway i hope you feel that too um i hope this experience uh, resonates with you and yeah i just i feel like um this is what's coming it's going to be amazing not for everyone i like i said if if uh, there's still those issues there like I said, it brought me to tears in a good way. It's going to bring up a lot. Um, but there's that love and support that I almost feel gives you the courage to, to face and accept it. So I don't know what all this means. I'm just sharing <laughs> what happened and um, what I feel. And so as always, please feel free to share your experiences. I love hearing from you. And thanks to everyone that's um, taken time to, you know, email me or um share your experiences it's so awesome hearing all of this and i feel like we've got this little family or community happening here where we're all sort of on the same page and um yeah we're all anticipating this in one way or another together so i hope you're all well and sending you love and i hope that anyone affected by all this flooding here in australia is safe and um just that you're okay and I will hopefully look forward to speaking with you all again soon. All right, sending you all love. Bye.